And a good day, everybody. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition. It's off right here. I don't want to get in any trouble. I mean, copyright, all that. Anyway, today we're looking at Goose Island Tropical Beer Hug Double Hop IPA. It's an Imperial IPA style. 9.9% ABV, so we're about to get a little lit here, people. Mm. Finally cut my hair, as you can see. It's time. Uh, very good score in Bear Advocate, so. Uh, right there, I think that's good. I should have got another a glass for this one. Especially glass, but. Already, I'm getting the aromas of this flavor. It's like, woo, wow. Of course, Goose Island, based in, started out in Chicago. Of course, there's the flagship beer, the IPA, of course. Um, they also have their urban wheat. And uh, their 312 Urban Wheat. Um, and I think one of the beers, run me to put my tongue around it, is one of their other flagship beers, but I forgot what it is. It's, I don't know, it's that, it's that, that red ale something. Uh, but yeah, so of course, uh, now under the ownership of AB InBev, of course, they bought them out, I believe was 2000. 12 or 2010, I believe. So, still brew their beer in Chicago, but of course, everywhere their AB and Beth is located, I'm sure. St. Louis, I'm sure. Their Tampa location, I'm sure. But, not too bad. Very fragrant, very. Um, but for a uh, a double hop probably to be tropical of course there are other tropical IPAs I've had Terrapin's Luau I've had another tropical IPA from Kona Brewing uh, let's see a few others come to mind but all of them could hold, all of them hold their own but this is the first one I've had that is a double hop triple hop so double hop IPA. So this is my first time having this beer. Um, this beer has been reviewed on a lot on other channels. Of course, my good friend Mr. Terry, Ronald J. Terry, who's had beer reviews, watch his channel. I'm sure he's done a review of this one. So nice head, as you can see, very fragrant. Getting those tropical flavors immediately from there. You're getting some passion fruit, some pineapple, some oranges, maybe a little guava in this papaya, possibly. So, here we go. Mmm, man. Oh, wow. Mmm, this is good. Man. Oh, wow. I saw something. Man, this is, this is really really good guys all the flavors are there in this there's a little slight bite in the end but mm, man this is this is pretty good double dry hop as they say um, I'm really you know, since I've moved up here from leaving Alabama, moved up here to Georgia, um, I've, I've found a lot of really some fascinating, some really great beers at a, just some, just some incredible price around here. It's just been like just one good thing after another. And plus, this morning on my travels, I was trying to find uh, find this credit and I was driving all over the damn area like like a crazy man. It was like, okay, where is this place? Where is this place? So, um, I found in I on my way uh, back. I stopped two spots um, in the city, and I stopped on my way at Trader Joe's, and I picked up a couple of beers there too. I was like, "Ooh, 
of things I saw there. I was like, and thankfully they were in singles, so you know. But and got this one in singles. But I got this one at a service station, I believe. I got this at Q-tip, Q-tip, excuse me, Quick Trip service station, which is pretty much all over throughout the Atlanta area, and I'm sure pretty much throughout the state of Georgia. Uh, I'll take that back. I think pretty much throughout the pretty much throughout Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. I know we saw a couple of quick trip service stations when we were on our, on our way, my brother and I, to go to we went to a, a family a family event, which was a Sabbath family event that I had to attend. Uh, but in any event, uh, so yeah, so we were able to find the singles of this. So I was like, cool. Yeah. I said, hey, I'm going to try it. And the good thing I did was about two something and change, two twenty five, two thirty dollars two dollars and thirty cents and change for this pint size can. Eighteen ounce, eighteen. Excuse me, I'm look at this right here. Yeah, eighteen point two ounce pint can. So that was pretty good. So goes down very well. The flavor, the hops, again, as I mentioned, a little bitterness, but the flavor is really kind of balancing. Everything's kind of balancing out on this beer here. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a few more sips. I'm not gonna guzzle this whole thing down. So, well, not guzzle it down, but sip here, sip there. So, I'm really been trying to get more. I've had other Imperial IPAs, but nothing that is, that's dry hopped. Um, I've had double IP, you know, Imperial IPAs, you know, from the ones that Sam Adams had put out. I think the Rebel, I guess he's considered a double Imperial IPA from, of course, um, Dogfish Head with their the 90 minute IPA. Um, there was another one they. Um, Oscar Blues did another uh, double IPA. I think they have out the name also escapes me. Um, there was the, uh, yeah, the G Knight. That's what it is, the G Knight. Uh, that was pretty good. So um, I've had them, but nothing of one that's like this. I'd say that it's really, really good. Again, savor these folks. And the high alcohol content, man. 9%, 9.9, 10. Ooh. This is a good beer to pair with, I would say, with a nice roasted chicken. <clears throat> nice roasted chicken, or you want to do a Cornish ham with this, you want to pair it down. This would be a good, really good beer to pair, pair it with. Man, vegetables and some little starch and potatoes or something with it, you know. Yeah, I feel like cooking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook tomorrow. So... Frost. I'm gonna put the hand out tomorrow. Defrost that. Yeah, I ain't gonna f f screw around tomorrow. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, this is really good, guys. I'm, I'm really savoring this. Uh, this is good. I think they did a really good job. Um, it is it is all those things that I said in the bottom? Tropical smooth and explosion and it has all those flavors. So I'm won't go on. I'm gonna savor this beauty here while I'll sit and watch a movie and maybe fix me something to eat. I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Something, but anyway, um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna say more than very good. I think this is an A, straight up A for me. So I'm gonna go 9.1, 9.2. I guess I could say is A minus. So 9.1, 9.2 score for the Tropical Beer Hub from my friends at Goose Island, of course, owned by AB InBev. So try it out if you can get this. It's a winner. Mm. John Anderson Pierre, the Beverage Rambleton. Keep on watching. As always, cheers, live, laugh, and love. <laughs> Tropical beer hug. <laughs> I say agree.